Uh, people expect certain things to be warm, and if they are not warm, they will reject them, or they will, on a quality scale, they will mark them down, even though the quality may not be any worse. And they maybe have made the eggs out of there, made the omelet out of the finest eggs. But if it comes to the table cold, the omelet, and flat, then they're going to get bad impressions of it. Uh, even, skilled, even skilled people will do this, so that you tend to throw the panel off by not serving them at uniform temperatures and normal temperatures. And we go to a lot of expense and time to do this. Uh, this becomes a really major problem in meat experiments. We, we did a lot of meat experiments here for the animal husbandry department, a lot of them, a period of years, on twins uh, and uh, on different diets and things like that. And uh, we would, they would come over and we had these big ovens upstairs and they would come over and uh, the roast beef would be brought out or whatever part of the meat that we were cooking and they would taste it. But they could not, there was only five places in the booth. And it took two hours to get the panel all the way through. Between the first ones and the last ones, the roast beef was two quite different things. So how do we solve that problem? Difficult problem. You may have this problem in the laboratory sometime. How do you solve it? Well, we finally sent the meat home with them and let them cook it themselves and mark the scorecards at home. And we had coated pieces of meat. They had took two steaks home or two uh, pieces of meat. And we specified the temperature they were to cook them at. Uh, and for the period they were to cook them at. And we asked them to make this an early part of the meal, not to precede it with other things so that they wouldn't have uh, a lot of spicy foods just before it and so forth. And we actually asked the menus. In fact, we, at one stage in that experiment, we went and picked up the scorecards at the home. So we, when we talk about consumer testing, you'll see that the home uh, response can be made more meaningful if you actually interview the person who's made, who's checked the, the scorecard as to his reactions in the home situation so he can tell you, well, the baby had a colic and we were giving it castor oil and there were some other smells around the house and so forth uh, so that the meat may not have smelt normal that will give you some clues as to what that reaction was. So keep the temperatures constant. All right, next time we'll be talking about some other aspects of the senses, and we'll have a quiz next Tuesday.